Days Gone Update 1.09. That is where this video is going to be about. Yo, what up? It's your boy Cheese. And it feels like yesterday we had 1.08, but already now we do have 1.09. I'm going to explain everything what is new in this update. And this is also really relevant for my subscribers. As I noticed so many comments on that people couldn't get that platinum trophy. There's more info about that in this video as well. This is so far the biggest update that I've seen for Days gone as it is a size of 12,824 gigabytes. Through Reddit, I also found out that there could be coming a DLC really, really soon. Of course, they announced this a while ago, but here with this huge update, this could be a way for them to add this DLC. Like Sony Band actually promised to fix the lagging and, and, and the stuttering issues, they also wanted to fix the crashing issues as the game was crashing for a lot of people. I already talked about this in several videos, but this time they are really sure they're gonna fix it. Also make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you do appreciate that I keep you guys up to date and let me know down below in the comments what the issues are for your days gone on the PlayStation 4. This update will most importantly fix crashes, glitches, and frame drops. You probably noticed that if you're riding your bike, the game does have a lot of frame drops. I experienced it myself. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you got some, but I experienced it myself. I didn't have the game crashing, but I had so many comments that people had their game crashing all the time. Not going further into that, this is going to be fixed with this update is what Sony Band said their self. Also, I noticed that there were a lot of people complaining that they couldn't get to Platinum Trophy. They were stuck at, I believe, 97% and they couldn't get one single trophy. So they were unable to get that Platinum Trophy. Of course, now the game is out for, I believe, almost a month. Yeah, only five more days and it will be out for a month. And I noticed that a lot of people had trouble getting the Platinum Trophy because it doesn't let them get it. This is also because of glitches that the story just won't continue and you can go back to earlier saves. And if this happens to you, you have to start all over from scratch. If you have been playing the game for like 30 hours, you have to start all over again and lose everything in the process. That is super annoying and they're also looking into that. That's what I've seen on Twitter. It is really good to see that everyone in the comments is really active as I know a lot of these things in the patch notes already before I even saw reading them because you guys already told me about stuff that didn't work. For example, with the processing issues, we fixed an issue where people wouldn't be able to save, fast travel or pause after triggering the cinematic to I've had better days. That's one I really saw a lot in the comments. They also fixed an issue that prevented players from completing afraid of a little competition. You may need to move as far back where the bounty collector merchant resides and return to the mission objective to trigger the cinematic. Another one where they fixed an issue where people were unable to complete searching for Lisa. Players that were impacted will now see the mission complete screen. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, a lot of these glitches were in the missions and that way you also couldn't get the platinum trophy if you are having trouble getting further into the mission make sure to comment down below what your issue is as we can send this to sony band then i got some more general fixtures for you guys the overall improvement have been made to streaming and performance audio desync issue during cinematics have been resolved uh, this is also a very big thing I also talked about in my last video. Auto save function will now save the correct number of saves to your cloud account. They gave us some extra information with that. With this update, we will not delete any of your current auto saves. Of course not. You can go into your settings, auto save data management, auto update to manage your auto saves for days gone. The game should no longer crash when attempting to override the older auto save. And also a fix of some general box. If you think this video is very helpful, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Days Gone content as I will upload Days Gone content in the future, giving you guys updates and all the things you need to know about Days Gone. Subscribe down below, I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next Days Gone video. This was Cheese, peace.